Cowboy Jamin is back. It's not often that I dust off Cowboy Jamin. Really only for special events. And today, it's one of those events. NAPT, day one of the main event at Resorts World. And we're gonna play it. I'm gonna show these varmints, these city slickers, how us country boys do it. I say country boy, but I'm from Cincinnati, so it's kind of country. Let's go. one out here but we made it to resorts world I don't know how much you guys will see of me registering for the tournament and getting my ticket and getting to the table let's just get right to the meat and potatoes I mean, what's going on, buddy? How you been? Good? I love the Cowboys. Oh, nice. We'll chat. You even got the Cowboy jeans on. You got sparkles on your head. Always had sparkles in my head. Right and early to play in a tournament. Those are some words I rarely say, but here we are in the North American Poker Stars $1,650 main event. And if you don't know this already... I really don't play too many tournaments a year, so sitting down on this, I definitely feel like a fish out of water. But let's give it a go anyway. I arrive on level 2 and almost immediately get a playable hand with blinds at 100-200 with a 200 ante. I open the action of 400 from the low jack with ace-10 of clubs. The cutoff and small blind both call, and I see a flop three ways. Nine of hearts, jack of clubs, seven of diamonds. The small blind checks, and this isn't a horrible board. I continue for 400 and get snap raised to 1100. I decide to call for an additional 700 after the small blind folds. Things get better, well, at least they don't get worse when the four clubs appears on the turn. I check and the cutoff doesn't slow down. 3000 this time. That turn club keeps me around for one more street. Call. The river deuce of hearts is heartbreaking. Check. He fires 4200, but it doesn't matter. I'm out. This is this. played a couple tournaments. Yeah, this will be a YouTube short. <laughs> this will be a reel. <laughs> I got that one. Oh, I got that one for sure. All right, I proved my point. I'm done, boys. Still early, it's level three for God's sake, but besides backing into a flush in one hand, I haven't seen very much even playable. The chip stack is dwindling. So imagine my elation when I look down at ace-9 offsuit on the button. I open to 800 with the blinds at 100, 300, 300 and only get action from the big blind. 
the big blind checks on the queen of diamonds, nine of spades, deuce of spades flop, and I toss out 400 as a C bet. And it works. I actually won a hand. And then it was time for a break. I made friends with the devil on my shoulder. I can't find no forgiveness for my wrongs. There's a ghost inside of me that's growing stronger. No way home when you've been lost this long. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Ain't no grace for the sinner. God knows I tried. There's a heathen on the throne. Always fire when the smoke. The preacher man lies. Call him in the darkness. Gather around sinners. Won't fight justice. Can't be delivered. We got it. We got it now. We totally understand everything that's going on. We got it now. We got it now. All right. I didn't give. I didn't have a chance to give you guys an update on the first little break, but we are currently on level four, and I have my whole table figured out. The entire table. The guy on my left, who you can't really see, he's fucking around. You know, he's gonna get caught. Here's what we have to worry about. There's two, two players at the table we have to worry about. The guy in the five seat and the guy in the seven seat. We got this guy, uh, podcast boy, <laughs> over <laughs> inconsequential. You guys saw when I snapped him off with that ace queen suited, didn't you? And then we got Maria Corna Kana whatever, you know, the, the, <laughs> the, the book. She write her little fancy poker book and she's over there. We're gonna get her too. We gotta worry about five seat. We gotta worry about seven C, okay? All right, hang in there. So if the question is, could they all hear you when you did that mid-session at the table update thing? The answer is hell yes. I wanted to let them know that I was coming. And just a few hands later, I looked down at this beauty in the small blind. Conrad on the button has opened to 800. Grace. And my small blind three bet takes this down. Maybe the card drought is over. Maybe I'm going to just run it up and win this three day event on day one. There's a heathen on the throne. Maybe not. There's a heathen on the throne. Always fire when there's smoke. The preacher man lies. Hoping she'd read it, literally for one paragraph. Like, I wanted to read, just to get to, there was one specific paragraph that she needed to hear. And I couldn't tell her, because it'd be too mean, but she could read it in the book. She discovered it on her own. It was, I don't remember where you were. I'll tell you after the hand. I'll tell you after the You were somewhere playing some tournament. It was one of your first tournaments. You'd busted, and you went back to Alan to complain, and he just looked at you and said something like, did you do something wrong? Like, it was that. It was that whole little, yes, yeah. Because she was bad with that. She's not anymore, but she was then. I'm so glad that she Yeah, 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 yeah. That resonated. It resonated with me, and it resonated with her, too. Yeah, that still resonates with me. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And you want to tell people because you want the sympathy, but it's like... Level 5 was a big nothing, and I catch this hand in the middle of preflop action of level 6 with blinds at 300, 600, 600. I have opened in the low jack to 1500, the hijack has called, and Maria in the small blind is in the process of calling. The big blind comes along as well. Oh, and I have pocket kings. Did I mention that? Then I catch a damn good flop in king four seven with two diamonds. 
Maria in the small blind checks, and the big blind donks out for three grand. What the hell is this? This is very unexpected. I started the hand with about 14k, and after his donk, the big blind only has about 6,500 left. I tank for a bit on this one before just flatting his bet. The other two players fold, and we are heads up heading to the turn. The turn jack of club should be a brick, and the big blind continues. 5,000 this time. Before making my next move, I confirm that he doesn't have any hidden chips back there. Do you have behind? Then I just move all in, covering him. Come on. He pretty quickly calls. Our cards are exposed and he shows 4-7 offsuit, which is a little boggling, but whatever. The river five of spades, inconsequential, and I win a nice sized pot. Calling in the darkness, gather around sinners, won't find justice. Really showed my skill there, you know? All that training, all those long hours in the lab. With only one blind in play the very next hand, Maria opens the button and Conrad shoves all in from the big blind. After a short deliberation, Maria folds. Yeah, that is all in. But look at the bright side. You get one I get a five. Yeah, look at the bright side. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it happens real quick. If I had a dollar for every time a woman told me that. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was drunk. The last time I was drunk. My birthday, last last year. That was probably the last time I was like drunk. That surprise birthday party? Yeah. That was a year ago. It was a year ago this week. Next week. Surprise birthday You have to talk to Lily. She basically invited everyone in poker except you, really, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm trying to think of somebody in poker she didn't invite. No, that was a good party. She did a good job. I mean, there was fire dancers and... Really? There was like, what was that? Like, like a, a, a weed bar or something? What was it? Like it was... Yeah. It was wild. I get it into this big gigantic mansion like flew people in from like out of town okay. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I mean everybody was there <laughs> I'm just yeah, it's, it's amazing <laughs> she, she hadn't met you yet otherwise you'd be there she was so excited to see you the other day she's like while the table was socially fun, my card distribution left a lot to be desired. I was getting no hands to play. And as we approached the second break, my chip stack was dwindling again. It is uh, break time. I'm going to do a very quick update so I can enjoy the break. Uh, I am currently a little bit below average and we're hanging in there. That's the update. That's basically all I got. There's no way I can hear words you never say. Whatever's come between us keeps on getting in the way. I want to hear you laugh. Love to see you smile. What I wouldn't give right now just to hold you for a while. But I feel you slipping away It's harder to see The part of the love Use the show Things aren't looking good, my friends. Cards aren't cooperating. And any hands I manage to find my way into, I'm forced to find my way out of after a small donation. The situation is grim. The blinds are increasing, and the pressure is on. Here, Maria opens to 2200 from the cutoff, and I look down at... Wait. What? Aces. Let's go. Now, how do I get the maximum? I call. Heads up, I see a pretty benign flop in Queen-8-3 Rainbow. Check. 
She continues small, 1800. I was hoping she'd go bigger. It's going to be hard for me to get all in by the river if I just call this 1800. I check raise, small. I make it 4200 and she quickly calls. On the turn seven of spades, I make a mistake by moving all in for 9200, even though our SPR is less than one. I probably should have bet three or four K, leaving myself with the same for the river. I don't get the snap fold though, which is good. She tanks on this one for about 35 seconds before unfortunately releasing her hand. I hate you so much. <laughs> Has this given me new life? Maybe the card drought is over this time. Maybe this time I am going to run it up and just win this three-day event on day one. Mm, maybe not. Back to reality. <laughs> Sitting on about 24K, we are still well below chip average. So I got to make some things happen fast. Here, I open to 2300 with pocket sixes from the low jack and only get the cutoff to call. I check the 987 rainbow flop and the cutoff, possibly sensing weakness, fires 3K into the middle. Well, this is as good a time as any. His bet is met with me quickly check raising all in and his hand finds the muck with lightning speed. We did win a couple pots preflop during this level, but nothing else noteworthy really happened. And as we headed into our 60 minute dinner break, I was nursing a quickly dwindling stack. Update time. It is a uh, dinner break. <laughs> Say hi to Maria. <laughs> it's dinner break. We're coming back with much, much, much less than average. Where the hell am I? Is this one? Uh, no. Well, either way. No, I'm going this way. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, coming back with much, much less than average, but we're still in there. I think we have, or we will have, maybe 30 bigs coming back. But right now we're on rush to meet up with Lily and um, grab some food. So forgive me as I exit. might be wondering how I went from dinner break to in this hallway. So we started this wrap up upstairs, but it was just too dark. So here's what happened. Came back from dinner break. Before I even turned the camera on, I got all my little chips in the middle with Ace-5 suited and lost to Ace-King. So we're out. But since we're out of the uh, NAPT main, that doesn't mean we're out of poker. We're headed to the Bellagio. It took us absolutely forever to make it to Bellagio. I'm tired now. Make no mistake, 
when I finally got to the Bellagio after being stuck in F1 traffic for way too long. I was really in no mood for passivity. Busting tournaments? It'll do that to me. I guess. So I'm in a pretty aggressive mood when the poker gods bless me with the best hand known to those that know. 3-5 suited. I open to $25 and get a single caller. The big blind. I catch the dream flop in king of hearts, four of spades, four of hearts. This board blocks pocket kings and quad fours and we have a backdoor steel wheel draw. It can't get much better than this. The big blind checks and we continue. $20. He calls. The turn queen of spades falls and he checks again. Well, he's screwed now because I'm just going to start blasting. And unless a four hits the river, I'm not stopping. $110. He thinks for a second, then folds. How long have I been telling you guys about the magic of this hand? It just wins. This next hand is the exact opposite. It just loses. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to play it. I like the punishment. Under the gun opens to $30 and I raise to $100 as if the under the gun player isn't one of the tightest players in existence. He is. I don't care. I'm Cowboy Jamin, damn it. He goes into the tank for a long time. You don't see the heads up pre-flop tank very often, but here we are. 40 seconds in, he folds. Not too long after dealing with ace-king offsuit, the -the under-the-gun player opens to $30 and I met with his much stronger big brother, ace-king suited. Now this is a hand worthy of a death match. I bump it up to $150 and he finds the call. Ace-7-7 with two clubs. I continue for $100 and this bet gets the job done. Honestly, there wasn't much fighting back at this table. All my bets were just kind of getting through. The issue with this game was that people were leaving at a rapid rate. And about an hour after I got there, we were four-handed. The players then asked the floor if there were seats in other games. Rachel, one of the Bellagio floors, came over to tell us that there were only two seats available. Yeah, then we just get our... They have two seats? Yeah. Hey, uh, Rachel, check Bravo. They have seats at Encore? We <laughs> We get one seat. How many games they have going on Encore right now? That would have been customer service. She would have called Encore. Like, how many seats do you have? <laughs> Send you four players. So we soldiered on for a while, playing four handed. Button opens to 30. I make it 130 from the small blind with King Queen of Clubs. Hand over. Three handed in this next one, the small blind opens to 30. I call from the big blind holding King 8 suited. Flop, king, eight, ten with two clubs. Yeah, I run good. He bets 20. I raise to 90. Hand over. And it, whenever I watch it, I'm like, it would be fun to have a vlog. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know what's fun? It's to, get, it's to get a walk when you have this hand. No. <laughs> I have to <laughs> now I'm tilted. This game was going nowhere. I had already had a long day because of that damn tournament. Another seat had opened on an adjoining table, so I decided to rack up, head out, and let the remaining three players take the now three empty seats. I'll tell you what, we gonna go ahead and just call it a night today. I done spent all day playing with these city slicking tournament players that I darn near forgot how to play cash when I got here to the dang on Bellagio. It's just time to, you know what? It's just time to go home. We're gonna go home and we're just gonna do the thing tomorrow. You hear? I had a feeling that session at the Bellagio wouldn't last long and it didn't. Uh, It lasted a little over an hour and I left up about, let me look, make sure there's nobody around. $500. So we're just going to get out of here. It's been a long day and I'm just going to wrap it up right here by saying, if you like the vlogs, like the vlogs, leave me a comment. I'll probably respond. 
and um, subscribe. And I'm gonna go sit down. Bye. Don't ask me the date. It's Saturday, I can tell you that. Other than that, all I know is it's too damn early. Seven fifteen, seven twenty in the morning. I am here to, um, I don't know, play some carnival game type thing. You went five bullets or something. Uh, I saw you on Twitter. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah. right. <laughs> This F1 traffic is no joke. There comes a point when hiding out and all them haunted hallways and hidden staircases don't make you feel like a grown woman anymore. And it's true, and I'm sorry. Good I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we uh, will be back. Lit up, lit up, lit up. It may be. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I didn't mess up that many times this time. <laughs> not that many. Near perfect. So I had been recording that entire time. Literally turned off my phone and like was texting and then looked down at Kings. And then I had to like surreptitiously get it back on and like get it back up on the stand. <laughs> I told you, as soon as I turn it off, I get in. Who, whose is it? Or did they literally go buy it? They just want to buy it. From where? I have no idea. Can I ask Stacey? Yeah. She made it happen. She made it happen. Looks good. She made it happen. Yeah. Like, and it fits. Looks like it fits. That's like good. That's good. Uh, that's good talent. That is a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's strong. Well, we made it. I'm going to uh, spare you guys all the details of me getting a tournament ticket and getting a seat and doing all that nonsense. We'll just get right to the pokers. I don't know how much of you. I don't know how much you'll see of me getting a tournament ticket and registering and doing all that rigmarole. When I get to the table, I'll start recording again. I don't know how much you guys will see of tournament, but out at the resort world. Okay, we're in the parking garage, so that means we're probably out of the tournament. And we are. We got it all in with the uh, Ace Five of Clubs versus Ace King Off. Literally the second hand after returning to dinner break, or uh, returning from dinner break, even before I got a camera set up. So we're out, but the night is not over because the Bellagio exists. I think starting next year, Connie, I'm going to be one of those one of those old school players that just says Fourth Street and Fifth Street. <laughs> like I'm not going to say Turn and River anymore. No, Fourth Street and Fifth Street. I'm going to bring it back in the middle of Resorts World. I busted the tournament. That's what's happened. I didn't even get it filmed. Ace-5 suited first, Ace-King, all in pre, I'm out. <laughs>